France is grieving, and not just for the dead. The French are also in grief because they know their country will struggle to recover from these wounds, and they fear what will come next. This is the Place de la République in the centre of Paris, but the silence was observed across the country, a long, poignant pause. But even as the country mourned, there was another attack on the streets of Paris. In Mont Rouge, just south of the centre, two police officers shot. And shortly afterwards, colleagues heard tragic news. One of those shot, a policewoman, had died of her wounds. And yet again, the killer got away. We don't know that there is a direct link between this attack and Wednesday's attack on Charlie Hebdo. But we do know that the gunman here, according to eyewitnesses, used an automatic weapon and he deliberately targeted officers in uniform. And all of this adds to the sense of crisis in the French capital. These are the prime suspects for Wednesday's attack. The French police say Sherif and Saïd Kouachi, brothers of Algerian descent, are armed and dangerous. Sherif has a previous conviction for helping send jihadist fighters to Iraq. There are reports that they were seen on Thursday in a car in the N region of northern France. President François Hollande says this is a time for national unity. La France a été frappée en son cœur même. France has been struck directly in its heart, the capital, in a place where the spirit of liberty and resistance breathes freely. The spontaneous gatherings throughout France show once again that our great France knows how to come together and defend the ideals of the Republic, of peace, against those who think they can attack it by killing journalists and police. Brave words, but many of those on the streets simply feel numb. I feel empty. It's something so un unbelievable and uh, they were like my family and uh, like me they, they, they like so much laughing and, uh, and uh, against uh, the, the silliness in, in the world. Whatever the eventual consequences of these events will be, there is now something of a political truce in France. For the authorities, the priority is to catch killers on the loose. Barnaby Phillips, Al Jazeera, Paris.